She plays the smallest and most beloved tribute in the blockbuster movie The Hunger Games, and one whose fate is the hardest for audiences to swallow. We're joined today by 13-year-old actor Amanda Stenberg. She plays Rue in the movie. Amanda, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. So the movie is breaking all sorts of box office records. We've been talking about that today. How has your life changed? You're 13 years old, and how has your life changed since this movie came out? Um, it's definitely changed. It's weird to go to Starbucks and then someone goes, oh my god, it's Rue, and runs up. It's definitely very different. But, um, I mean, The Hunger Games has been such a fantastic opportunity, and I can't even believe I'm a part of it. Now, people who are, aren't in the acting profession like you are, they wonder how does one get such an amazing part in a, in a series that it looks to be a series of movies that are going to go forward. How, did you audition? How did you audition? And what did you have to do um, when trying out for the part? Yeah, I just auditioned like um, anyone else. I mean, there was one audition with a casting director, and that went really well. And she gave me a tip for my next audition for my callback. Um, to get dressed up like Rue. So I got a call back at Gary Ross, the director's house, and I got all dressed up, and there were mud, leaves, and twigs in my hair, and I was covered in grass stains. So I looked like I'd been living in the woods for a couple weeks. And so then I went to Gary Ross's house, and he has a really nice house, like with a lot of suede furniture. So I had to make sure not to sit down on anything. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. So I sat like on a stool in the corner, but <laughs> it went really well. And so then I actually, a couple of weeks later, I got a call saying I'd gotten the part and I freaked out. <laughs> I'm sure. But the worst part was that I couldn't tell anyone. I had to keep it a secret. So um, I went to school the next day, like trying to cover up all my excitement, which is really difficult. And everyone was kind of asking me, like, why are you so happy? <laughs> but, yeah. So, and, and you, so you didn't tell anybody? You didn't even tell your best friend? Come on, you can tell us. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. I actually, like, I, 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 um, I knew that it was top secret information. I wanted to so badly. So uh, finally, when I heard, like, the second I heard that they were releasing it online, then I told them and they freaked out, and they were kind of mad at me. I'm sure. <laughs> but but um, they were super excited, so. And had you read the books before you were asked to audition for the movie? Were you already a fan of The Hunger Games? Yeah, I was a huge fan. I read the books, like, months before I even knew there was going to be a movie. And by the time I auditioned, I'd read them four times. <laughs> so I'm a really, really big fan. So you were ready to go. I mean, that's how you knew what costume to put on when you went back for your audition. <laughs> yeah, definitely. It's amazing because, you know, so many of us who actually aren't actors, uh, we read these books and we kind of imagine ourselves as one character or another. When you first read it, did you see yourself as Rue or did you think of yourself more as Katniss or what did you think? When I first read the books, I was just so um, intrigued by them. I wasn't really thinking about myself as a character. But then by the fourth time, I thought, hey, you know, Rue's small. She, she kind of looks like me. I think I could definitely play her. So then I, I actually I called my agent when I heard there was going to be a movie, just asking for an audition over and over again. They probably got annoyed by me, but <laughs> I just wanted it so badly. Well, it worked. It obviously worked. I mean, the dog, the dog that barks loudest often gets, gets listened to. I'm wondering, you know, you have to climb so much in the movie. I mean, Rue is, is a great climber, her character. In real life, are you someone who climbs trees? I mean, are you a pretty good climber yourself? Yeah, I am a, I'm a natural born tree climber. <laughs> I, uh, I have been climbing trees for my whole life, I would say. And because, uh, you know, I would be in the park with my mom and then she'd turn around and be like, where's Amanda? And then I'd be up in a tree. So <laughs> I definitely have those rue-like abilities. <laughs> That's good. So you were, you, were ready, you were ready for the part. And you had also been in another part in a movie that I saw you in myself actually not too long ago, um, uh, Columbi Columbiana. And you, you played a young girl in that movie, but one who's very, very strong. And I wonder, in, in this, and this girl in this movie has to go through some very dark things, I wonder if that prepared you at all for playing Rue, who, you know, in, in the end goes through a very dark thing that is her own death in the movie The Hunger Games. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, Columbiana, that was my first, um, that was my first time on a movie set. 
And so that definitely prepared me. Just I had never really been around a crew like that and worked on a movie before. So that definitely prepared me as well as just I really got the opportunity to act because I've done commercials usually for I done commercials for pretty much my whole career. <laughs> and so I'm used to just doing like that. Hi, yeah, that's great, you know. Right. So um doing Columbiana really gave me the opportunity just to actually act and get into the emotions of it and all that. So I think that definitely prepared me. And I, I thought you were perfect for the role of Rue, and in part I thought that because I maybe I had seen you in Columbiana and I knew you could play this sort of very vulnerable character, this girl, but who was also very strong underneath. There were some people who've been tweeting on the internet that you did not look like the Rue that they had imagined, that they had imagined Rue being blonde, and, they, and some people were very harsh and critical about that. I'm wondering how you felt about that. Did you talk that over with your mom and your parents, or how, how, did, you, how did you react to that? Yeah, I did talk to them about it, and um, I mean, I'm just grateful for all the fans who have been so sweet. I mean, the ratio from fans who have tweeted me saying, like, you were fantastic is way bigger, <laughs> is much bigger than um, than the ratio of people talking about how I, I don't look like Rue. And so right. I'm just really grateful for the people who have tweeted me being so sweet and so caring, just saying that I was perfect for the role. And that really, it means a lot to me. So I'm really grateful for that. And do you tweet a lot yourself? Yeah. Yeah, I have a Twitter. <laughs> yeah, you're on Twitter. Uh, and so in terms of, uh, of the, the scene that was so hard for everyone to watch, and I can say this now because the movie's been out for a couple of weeks, I'm not really spoiling anything, <laughs> but obviously your character Rue dies, and it's, it's a, she's in the arena with these other tributes, these other children, and she gets killed in a very, what I think is probably the most emotional and maybe climactic point in the film uh, with you and Jennifer Lawrence, who stars as, as Katniss Everdeen. How did you remotely get yourself ready for a scene of your own death when you're only 13 years old? Um, I think I just, I mean, I thought about what Rue was thinking and what she was feeling. And even though she's so terrified and she doesn't want it to end that way, I think at the same time, she tries to be brave for Katniss because she wants Katniss to have hope and she wants Katniss to go on and win the games because she knows she can't anymore. And so I think I just, I don't know, I just kind of got into the emotions of Rue and thought about what she's feeling. And just when I get on set, I mean, it's kind of like being on set with Jennifer. Right. Um, it kind of just it makes you feel like you're there and it made me feel like I was Rue. And so it just, yeah, that's how I got into it. Was it an emotional scene for the two of you to film? I mean, a lot of your scenes are filmed with just Jennifer Lawrence. Um, was that in particular an emotional scene for the two of you? And did you have to do multiple takes of it? Yeah, I mean, you actually do multiple takes of everything. Right, true. So that was a, uh, I mean, at the, it's just, we, we tried it different ways. And um, it was definitely emotional. I mean, it was emotional on set because everyone was crying, yeah. but <laughs> with Jennifer, it wasn't that emotional just because Jennifer is always joking around. So like we would finish the death scene and then she would say something like, remind me to tell you this really funny fart joke. And then they would watch <laughs> it again and you'd be like, oh great, now I have to pretend to be crying while I'm trying to stop laughing. So <laughs> that's, yeah. that's very funny. So she was funny to work with. Was she always cracking jokes on the set? Yes, definitely. <laughs> yeah, and, that, and, and and it seems like that you must be a true professional to be able to keep it going after something like <laughs> something like something like that. Um, <laughs> did you? And now a lot of adults have asked whether they think or if they have questioned whether the movie's too violent for people who are you know twelve and under. I mean, you're only thirteen. I've seen a lot of kids write back on Twitter um, and on YouTube and so forth saying that they don't think it's too violent, that they're ready to handle it, and that this film's message is greater than the violence. I'm, I'm wondering what your thoughts are on that. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's what we were all thinking uh, when we made the movie, just that the movie's not really about the violence. It's not about showing a bunch of blood and guts, you know? It's, um, it's really about the story, about the message about Katniss and how she, you know, sacrifices herself and 
for her relationships and how she really becomes a heroine. And I think that's definitely more important than watching a bunch of blood because I'm not one for gory stuff, stuff myself. So, you know. <laughs> and what's your, very quickly before we let you go, what's your next project, Amanda? Oh, well, um, I mean, I'm just looking at stuff right now. I'm looking at some really cool projects, so we'll see. But I'm just focusing on the uh, charities right now. <laughs> and are you back in school now? Uh, I'm on spring break right now. Spring break, good. For, what are you doing yeah. talking to me on spring break? You've got to do something <laughs> more fun than that. Uh, <laughs> anybody t treating you differently at school now, or are they, is everything about the same? Are all your friends uh, just sort of laid back about your, your new fame? I mean, I haven't been back to school since the movie has come out just because um, the movie came out on the last day of school. But, yeah. I mean, before that, it hasn't really changed. It's just been, um, you know, people, the boys actually just kind of make it a joke and they just call me Hunger Games now. <laughs> so we'll be sitting and they'll be like, hey, Hunger Games, can I borrow a pencil? I'm like, oh. Sure, I guess. <laughs> That's great. You know yeah. what? That's a pretty good nickname. Kids, kids can make up a lot, bet, lot worse nicknames than that. So if you get to be called Hunger Games, that's pretty good. We, we appreciate your being with us so much, Amanda. Great, good, best of luck with your charities and with your career and with school. That's important too. Yeah. <laughs> All right. See you later. Thanks. Bye bye.